Good evening. <laughs> well, what's good about it? Everywhere you look around this great nation, you see murder, robbery, extortion. Lawlessness runs rampant. I don't usually endorse television programming, but this show is very important. It is called Danger Theater. Two completely different shows in one half hour, focusing on those gutsy crime fighters who are out there trying to keep our city safe. First up tonight, Danger Theater investigates a crime of fashion. That's passion. Hmm? Passion. Crime of passion. Of course, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So, curtain up. It's time for Danger Theater. Meet Dave Taylor, CPA, devoted husband, beloved father, just your average everyman who had an extramarital affair with a gorgeous psychotic. And now, Dave Taylor is paying the cheater's price. What? Call me. That's what I do. I help people in trouble. They call me the searcher. Thank you. David Taylor. You must be... The searcher. Thank you for coming. You don't have to thank me for doing my job. You're in trouble and I can help. Now, tell me about this woman. I, I had a one-night stand and I, I'm sorry. It's just that she had this great body and she came on so strong. I don't know what happened. You gave in to cheap lust and she turned out to be a psycho, right? World class. She won't leave me alone. You have to talk to her. You've got to get her to stop. I'll stop her, but you have to live with the filth you indulge yourself in. Uh, excuse me? Nothing. <clears throat> I'll need her name and her breast size. Uh, her breast size? Don't you mean her address? <laughs> I said her address. No, no, you said her breast size. Well, I meant her address. Her name is Clarice Payne. I don't know where she lives, but she works at the Pacific Mutual Building downtown. One more question. Did you ever think of using an electric razor? I, I told you I was attacked by rats. Of course you were. What's wrong? Some people. They're so stupid. Happy birthday, Grandma! Happy birthday, Grandma! Oh. Sorry, Grandma. Fireworks are illegal in this county. Now you can have a safe and sane birthday. Who the hell are you? They call me the searcher. What? Right thing calling me. First, find Clary's pain. Now, set the trap. Mm. 
Where is she? Whoa! Halt! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Did you want your first strike on you? You sure you're all right? I'm fine. Just one of the hazards of my job. Now, about Dave Taylor's accusations. I had one date with David. I found out he was married, and I broke the whole thing off. I was furious. I've never seen anyone go so crazy. Mm, but it's just not right to get involved with a married man. Of course not. You wouldn't leave me alone. I kept calling me and calling me all hours of the night, making these sick, weird noises on the phone. That's disgusting. Finally, I told him, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to call the police. Exactly what were you wearing when these phone calls were placed? Is that important? It may not be important to you, but it, it's important to me. Professionally speaking, of course. <clears throat> I... Sleep in the nude. Good for you. I just wish you'd stop calling me. It's all right, Miss Payne. You don't have to worry about David Taylor anymore. He's moving to another state. Another state? That's what he told me. My tow truck's here. Is there anything else? I may have the tuna melt. Hello, Mr. Chicken. Oh, he's not chickens. I just cleaned all the rat duty out of my car. Moving to another state? I don't think so. Clarice took the bait and my client. I'll just follow at a discreet distance. She'll never see me. I didn't give you too much tranquilizer. I know you didn't mean to hurt me, David, but you did. And you haven't even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, 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 really sorry. <sighs> 14C. Kisser. Yep. You're just like all the others. You led me on. You told me you loved me. Uh uh. Oh, right, Mr. Liar Man. Ooh. Liar, liar, liar! You can't commit to anything, can you? Godless worm. Come on, Barry. Let me all out. I'm working here, for God's sake. Well, at least the zip line held. You have no heart. Uh -huh. Don't argue with me. No, oh, ma'am. Sorry about that screen, but you're gonna have to drop that knife, Miss Payne. I can't. I have to stop him from hurting other women. What do you really want? Just tell me. 
Respect? I respect you. I want a man to care about me. I care about you. I want a man to... want me. Well, I want you... <clears throat> Drop the knife, Clarice. I want to thank you for everything you've done. You don't have to thank a man for doing his job. Who should I make the check out to? The searcher. Do you have a first name? Did Paladin. Did Liberace. The searcher. Did Fabian. Well, I really learned my lesson this time. Yeah, right. Just don't lose my number. 1-800-SEARCH-ME. What do you think will happen to Clarice? She's got years of therapy ahead of her. But if I know people, and I do, she's gonna be just fine. That should give you kids out there a lot to think about. From Danger Theater, good night and good luck. Well, I'm out of here. Where's the rap party, huh? There's still another show. Of course there is. Next on Danger Theater, we travel to the exotic island of Hawaii to investigate a crime of mistaken identity and murder. Meet Larry Dobbs, proprietor of Dobbs Autorama in Columbus, Ohio. Larry's here on his annual Hawaiian vacation, enjoying the traditional luau brunch at the Kablakawai Hotel on the beautiful island of Oahu. Excuse me, sir, but that seat is taken. It's Senator Talbot's seat. Yeah? Well, I don't give a damn if it's a president's seat. My butt was here first, and I am moving. Oh. Every time I eat Hawaiian food, I get gas. seen contusions like this before, Tom. That's poi, sir. Well, whatever it is, it killed him. My, what an interesting brooch. Captain, that's no brooch. Those are ninja stars. That's what killed him. Ninja stars. Do you know what that means, Samoki? It means the killer could be a ninja. I'll tell you what it means. It means the killer could be a ninja. Yes, Captain. Oh, I hate those little ninja people. You can't identify them because they wear hoods, and you can't get a good grip on them because they're so damn short. Why would a ninja kill a car salesman from Columbus, Ohio? I'll tell you why, Detective McCormick. Because that ninja bought a lemon from this man when he was traveling on the mainland. Captain Morgan, those ninja stars were not meant for him. That was my seat he sat in. I'm afraid they were meant for me. Really? And who might you be? Senator William F. Talbot. Of course! Now this all makes sense. The senator is heading the investigation into organized crime here on the island. This smells like Joe Tuma to me. Tuma uses ninjas to settle his sleazy scores. I've got to get this guy and make him testify against Joe Tuma if it's the last thing I do. Excuse me, Tom. Should Amoki and me just go home? Are we in your way? Sorry. Captain Morgan, I knew this investigation into organized crime would be dangerous. But I will not be deterred. You're a brave man, Senator. It takes one to know one.
From now on, you're under the protection of the Tropical Punch Unit. Because we don't want you to end up looking like this. And you, you poor, pathetic, innocent fool. I promise your death will not be in vain. Excuse me, Captain, would you like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. Don't worry. Those are just my boys. Ah! Did you order from Benny Hanna? What up? 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 Ninja punk, as far as I'm concerned, that's a felony! Homok is about time! What do I have to do? Send up flares? The ninja's about to cut me to ribbons. Do something, Amoki! Kill the ninja. You heard my friend Tommy. Nobody hurts my friends. I'm okay, what happened? I must have tripped on the rug, Captain. You tripped on the ninja. I don't know, all for any of losing it. I'll get him next time, Captain. And when I do, no retreat, no surrender, no heartbeat, no nothing. Is it over? Did you kill the ninja? He's not exactly dead. Well, what is he exactly? Uh, gone. Gone. Captain, I'm supposed to have dinner with the governor and some business leaders tonight to discuss the plans of my committee. I cannot cancel that dinner. The press would have a field day. And you won't have to cancel it. You're under the protection of the tropical punch unit. Hamoki, see if you can revive Tommy. Then let's set us a trap to nab a ninja. Your cell du jour? Your cell du jour? Captain, this is McCormick. All clear on the dais. So far. Don't bother me now, Tommy. I'm preparing for my number. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And now one of our most requested numbers, Tiny Bubbles. And thank you for remembering. Glass plate, didn't you understand? You there, Red? Take this car to the day. Serve the senator immediately. Yes, sir. Everything's fine in the kitchen, Mike. in the dining room, Mike. So far. Things aren't so good up here, Tommy. I'm okay cut me off with a drum solo just as I was about to hit my high note. What a hand! I'm okay. I hate to interrupt your solo, but the ninja's about 
about to murder the senator. Okay, and if he doesn't do it, rip him to pieces. I told you before, I don't like it when someone hurts my friends. Stop! Ever play football? Shrimp? Good work, Amoki. That's exactly what I would have done. Tom, cuff him, book him. Captain? Is it okay if Homoki cuffs him? I'm gonna head on over to the emergency room at Oahu General. Do it, Tom. Do it proud. Captain Morgan, I want to thank you and the TP unit for everything you've done. You're very welcome, Senator. But I don't think it's over. Joe Tomo wants you dead. He's got a whole stable full of these little hooded pests. I commend you for your bravery. Yeah. Well, thank you. And if you ever get to Washington, look me up. Well, Senator, what about your investigation? You do it. Gutless politicians! Huh. They're all alike, Homoki. We do all the dirty work, and they're all chickens. Hey, hey, take these, Captain. What? The press is here. Yes, you're right, old friend. I can't afford another smear job. Uh, why don't you just wrap up the paperwork on this one, and I'll take a few more requests from those lovely ladies out in front you got it captain oh i'm okay this case is closed we need more tough cops like the tropical punch unit good night and good luck from danger theater the show that dares to take a bite out of the butt of crime Excuse me, Captain, would you like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. I wouldn't be able to sleep tonight.